Hello friends, I'm Parwis and this is our seventh video in Python Flask Crowd Web Application Development. In the last video we have covered how you can make a flash messaging system in Flask framework. Uh, let me show you that, uh, what we have covered in the previous video. For example, if I add uh, a name like uh, Tom and uh, Tom at gmail.com and add a phone number and if I click on insert data, you can see this is a nice flash messaging system. Data inserted successfully. And also you can close this from here. Okay. Uh, now in this video I'm going to show you how you can retrieve data from your MySQL database. Uh, for example, we have these data that we have made. Let me refresh this. Yeah, this is the data that we have here and we want to retrieve this in our web application tables okay uh, before this uh, I have added all the source code of these videos in my uh, github I will add the link to the video description you can download the source code okay now open your PyCharm ID and in the index I'm going to make a cursor object mysql.connection.cursor and I'm going to execute the query select all from students I'm going to fetch all the data cur dot fetch all and add in a uh, close the cursor like this and in here add a parameter students data okay now open your index.html and uh, in here uh, you can see that now we have a static data uh, now we are going to make a for loop in here at the top for row and students uh, this is student is uh, this parameter and uh, we are going to end the for loop in here and for for okay for id we have uh, index 0 row dot 0 and now let me run this yeah, you can see we have. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to add. Now, if I run this, you can see we have row 1, 2, up to 14. If I check my database, I have uh, up to uh, 14 ID. Now, for name, it is. Row, zero, uh, row 1 for email it is row 2 and for our phone number it is row 3 okay and now let me refresh my application you can see now I have all my data from my database and retrieve that in my web application okay now also in here and they did uh, we are going to because we will update our data in the next video so I'm going to add uh, the uh, index to my uh, data row dot zero now let me refresh this and you can see now I have uh, if you check uh, this bottom section if I uh, over on the edit you can see 1 2 3 4 and up to 14 okay and uh, let me open this also you should add this in here row dot zero also for delete you need this delete 
row dot zero. Let me refresh this. And now if you check this in here, if I click uh, mouse over and delete, it's one, two, uh, three, four, and up to fourteen. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, this was our seventh video. If you have any question, please let me know. And also, uh, you can download the source code uh, source code from the GitHub. Uh, and for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.